Richard Hawkins was born in Plymouth, on the south coast of England, in the year 1562. His exact date of birth is unknown. Richard Hawkins's father was Sir John Hawkins, born into Cornish gentry. His mother was Catherine Gonson, his father's first wife. He was also the nephew of Sir Francis Drake. Having two such men in his family, is it any wonder he followed in their footsteps towards a life on the high seas? Richard Hawkins would have been educated as befitted his station. Taught to read and write, he would also have been taught mathematics and cartography, navigation and astronomy. He would have learned, from an early age, from both his father and uncles, the rigors of seamanship, and the love of the sea. In adulthood he would be proud to be referred to as one of Elizabeth's sea dogs. Richard Hawkins' career began in earnest in 1582, when he accompanied William Hawkins, his uncle, on a voyage to the West Indies. It would be in 1585, when he would be given the captaincy of a galliot, in Sir Francis Drake's expedition to the Spanish Main, and in 1588, he was given command of a Queen's ship, the Swallow, in order to assist in defeating the Spanish Armada. Richard Hawkins earned the title Sea Dog by becoming one of Her Majesty's privateers, in other words, stealing from the Spanish on the high seas, as often as was possible. After assisting in the battle to defeat the Spanish Armada, Richard purchased from his father, the Dainty, and set sail for the West Indies, also referred to at this time, as the Spanish Main, today known as the Gulf of Mexico, and Caribbean Sea regions. Hawkins then travelled south to the Straits of Magellan, and north up the coast of modern-day Chile. Having raided the town of Valparaiso, the voyage continued north until they were off the coast of modern-day Ecuador, and the Bay of San Mateo. It would be at this location that Hawkins's vessel was attacked by two Spanish vessels, hopelessly outmatching Hawkins's vessel Dainty. Although his crew put up a heroic and fearless defense, Hawkins was forced to surrender. Twenty-seven of Hawkins's crew were killed, and he himself was severely wounded. His condition for surrender was safe passage, for himself and his crew, out of the country. His condition was not met, and he was imprisoned. Held first in Seville, he was later transported to Madrid. For eight years, he was kept a prisoner, but, in 1602, he was finally released and returned to England. Richard Hawkins was knighted in 1603. Richard Hawkins became a member of Parliament in 1604, for the Plymouth region. He was also appointed Vice Admiral of Devon. This proved to be quite a task, as the coastline in the area was significantly populated with pirates. Between 1620 and 1621, he was appointed Vice Admiral under Sir Robert Mansell, who was in charge of a fleet sent to the Mediterranean to deal with the Algerian Corsairs. Richard Hawkins, at this time, also wrote his memoirs. He died, on April 17, 1622.